All right, so here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be installing this AMD CPU fan and heat sink into this over here. As you can see here, we had a cool master and one of the fan blades broke off. And I tried doing a little hack here to make it work for some time and it just vibrates and yells and all sorts of stuff. So as you can see here, it, it's time for it to go. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to remove this and install this new AMD one and uh, see how well the install goes. So let's go. All right. So on this model over here, we actually have to pop this up. So we're going to pop this up. Oh, and also before you do this, you want to make sure that your CPU fan is unplugged because if you damage those pins there, your computer may not start up because it'll sense that there's a problem. All right, so now that that's off, I went on ahead and wiggled it. You can see that the whole entire heat sink has come off. So now we're gonna take it out of here. Ta-da. There we go, we got it out. Thermal paste looked good. I had just replaced this probably about a year ago or so. So the thermal paste looks good. So now that we have this out of the box, this is the fan. See, it has a nice setup. It already has a uh, thermal pad on there so I just want to make sure that this is gonna fit and it does look like it's going to fit so what I'm gonna have to do is is we're gonna have to clean up this CPU with some rubbing alcohol and q-tips and I'm also going to have to take uh, these screws out of here so let's go on ahead and start that all right so before you get started for this you want to make sure that you have cotton balls q-tips gloves and also some rubbing alcohol um, anything over 70 will work that's what I recommend this one's 91 but anything over 70 will work all right now that we are zoomed in over here we're gonna go on ahead and, and begin the cleaning process I'm gonna unplug this riser here and move that out of the way put our gloves on the reason why you want to have gloves on just a personal preference I don't like getting this stuff on my hands so the next thing that you'll probably want um, is just having a paper towel on hand just in case you, you um, make a little bit of mess because you don't really want to leave any alcohol on the board some people will actually take the chip out but but it's okay to take it off inside of the computer so we're gonna take our cotton ball here and we're gonna go on ahead and fill it up with alcohol All right, now this is full of alcohol here, and, and now we're just gonna go on ahead and rub it across on here, and you will start to see that the name will appear. You wanna make sure you get all of the excess uh, thermal paste off of this completely. And as you can see, it is starting to say Ryzen. See, so you couldn't see that from before. See all that? That's all the thermal paste that was on here. Now you want to clean this thing until you can completely see the na the make and brand of that CPU. Uh, ju just to make sure you have a nice clean CPU. So if you're ever even just changing out the heat sink like I'm doing here, you want to make sure that you get it all removed. And there's some big chunks in there on this, as you can see here, big old chunks. It's okay if you get a little bit of thermal paste on the board. I've watched other YouTubers and other computer builders that say it's not going to hurt anything with this. If anything, it's just going to cool it down a little bit, the components around it. All right, now we have everything cleared off of there. And we are ready to install this new heat sink right here and fan. Uh, like I had stated before, this one already has the compound on it. This is like a thermal pad that came uh, pre-pasted. So what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to take these pieces out right here where these screws are and take these out and then screw this into the computer.
now that we got that out of the way, what we're gonna have to do is, this is laying flat. There's a back brace right here, underneath here, where these screws screw into. So I'm actually gonna have to turn the computer up on its side to get this installed. All right, so I have the computer flipped up on its side. The next thing that we're gonna go on ahead and do is, is hold the back plate. You can't see it, but my hand is behind the computer holding in this back plate right here, which holds this thing in. As you can see here where these holes are, there's a back plate, which is this, which goes into these holes. And this is what actually holds on the heat sink. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that in here and then uh, a line up your new heat sink onto the computer. So you wanna make sure it equals up with the holes. Make sure you have your screwdriver handy, which is right here. So let's go on ahead and stick it in. And what you can do is you can hold on to it with one hand and then get your screwdriver ready. Tiffy! And sometimes you might need somebody's help to hold on to the back plate. Screw this in. All right. And now after you get this screwed in you want to make sure that you go one screw at a time uh don't screw them in tight each one just kind of do it until it grabs that back plate so do one two three and four uh because there's four screws total screw it in until um they can't move anymore don't strip the bolts out it doesn't have to be crazy tight as long as they don't move so and you want to make sure you do that for uh each of the screws just be really careful you know especially with uh, th this being attached to your motherboard. I've never actually cracked a motherboard before, but you know, I'm pretty sure if you go on YouTube, you can see some pretty scary videos of people cracking uh, their motherboards. But anyway, so we have this installed. You see this, when you move this, it's not going nowhere. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is actually plug in the CPU fan. And then we're gonna start it up and make sure it works. So now we're going to plug in the heat sink fan, as you can see here, it actually, it should be anyway, not all motherboards will do this, but it should say CPU fan on your motherboard. Uh, de depending on your uh, make and model of board, it may be somewhere else, but mine is right here near the top. Most of the computers I've worked on are actually up top, so just keep that in mind while you're doing this. And just be so careful because if you don't plug this CPU fan in, your computer may not turn on because it detects that there is a problem, so make sure you reconnect the fan. The other thing that you want to do is, you know, just do a quick little cleanup. As you can see, there's a little bit of dust over here. I should use a microfiber cloth and go through this. Some computers are worse than others. You know, look for big things of dust if you can, like this right here. We got a big old clump of dust. So just try and clean it up. It's best to, uh, you know, if you're doing a full clean, you can see some of my prior videos are linked down in the description below. Um, when I first got this computer, I did a full cleaning because I bought this uh, PC used. It was very dirty, so I had to go in there and clean it. But anyway, if you want to see a full cleaning uh, demonstration, go check out that video linked below. So now let's go ahead and put it back together and test it out. And that's how you change out a heat sink and fan setup on your CPU. And there you go. Now that's actually what it looks like after it's done. I do have a, another video that's gonna be coming out pretty soon uh, regarding replacing fans for a graphics card. As you can see right here, that'll be another video. I'm ordering some replacement fans to this AMD graphics card. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. This is your boy Endless. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and I appreciate you guys watching this video. Talk to you guys later. Peace.